Hello friends. So here we'll continue our discussion on introduction to memory chapter, right? So some basic concepts we were discussing in our last video. We have seen that our aim of designing memory, sorry, our aim of uh, designing this memory is uh, the faster memory as well as we want to have a bigger size memory. But while doing so, we should not increase our cost, right? Then, so see, now the point is how to go for a bigger size memory and how to design a faster memory. Actually, see, whatever technology we have used for our main memory design, that we are not going to change. That will be there, right? Then what we will do, the technology we are not going to change, our main memory will be there as it is. What we will do, we'll play a small trick. What we will do, between the processor and the main memory, between the processor and the main memory, we will place one smaller size, faster memory. Smaller size, faster memory. The point is, faster memory, we understand why it is. But why it is small? Because uh, the faster memory is a costlier one. So we cannot afford to have a bigger size one. What we will do from our main memory, from our main memory, we will put some subset into this memory and this memory is called as cache memory. So what we are going to do, the something from this, some subset from this main memory, we are going to bring to the cache memory. And whenever processor will access, whenever processor will try to perform any read or write operation, it will first check in the cache memory. If it is found, then it will read from there or write into there. So by that, it will take lesser time to interact with the memory. So why it will take less time? Because the technology used to design this memory will make it faster. It, uh, it makes it faster and due to that, the operation will be faster. So instead of going to main memory, we will, if we'll get it in the cache, then it will become faster. So see, now the point is how that smaller memory can accommodate the whole of the main memory. Point is that. Then only we are going to get the benefit. So due to some properties of the programs, what we know that our program spends some time in a, some localized area only. And that locality, the program keeps on changing. So what we will do at one instant of time, if suppose one program is spending time in executing this set of instruction and data, that we will bring in the cache. And from the cache, processor will use it. And after that, suppose if locality changes, then the next locality data we will bring. Once the cache is full, we'll remove them from here and some new set of data again we'll bring. So what basically we'll do, whatever will be, frequently use instruction and data will be there that we will place in the cache memory. And if suppose uh, continuously, if we keep on finding them in the cache, then our feeling will be that we have a very fast uh, memory. But basically main memory design, we have not changed. Main memory is there as it is, but between the main memory and the cache, we have connected this cache memory and there we will keep some subset of our total things present in the main memory. And that subset will be the one that is frequently used once, right? So this is how the faster design is achieved. Another one is what? We want to have a large size memory. So see, why we want to have large size memory that I have already told in my last video, by keeping, uh, sorry, by having larger size memory, we can keep more number of information in the memory. More number, of pro more number of processes will be there in the memory. That means we can increase our degree of multiprogramming. If we de increase our degree of multiprogramming, our throughput increases, right? And how it, will be, uh, how it is going to increase the throughput? Because processor will be busy always executing some of the process. Suppose first it was executing this, then it is requiring some IO, then it will go to this. It is requiring some semaphore value. It is waiting for that. So it will start that. By that time it is over, IO is over, so it will come back to this. So like this processor is always busy doing something or the other. So by that your throughput will increase. So basically we want to keep more number of processes in the memory. 
but our size is same we have not increased the size of the memory neither we have changed the design technology right so what we are going to do the trick that we have played between the processor and the cache memory that means some subset from the main memory will bring into the cache and processor will feel that everything is present in the faster memory so my memory speed has increased done the same trick for increasing the size we are going to do what we will do say where from i used to get the information in my main memory from my secondary storage right that is my hard disk right from here i used to get the information into the memory right so what we will do we will not bring the whole of the process into the main memory from the hard disk right suppose your main memory capacity is say for example your main memory capacity is 40 kb right 40 kb just for an example i am taking it uh, 40 kb right and suppose the size of each process is your say uh, your size of each process is say 10 kb right 10 kb and to store your system related data operating system and all i require your 5 kb right i require 5 kb i require 5 kb then suppose uh, this uh, size of each process is what 10 kb and uh, to keep the system related data we require 5 kb right now see to accommodate 10 number of processes whose each size is 10 kb we require what into 10 right 100 kb of memory we require along with that 5 kb is always there for storing the system related uh, so softwares right so total we require what 105 kb whereas our memory capacity is what 40 kb let's say it is 40 kb then how we are going to accommodate the 10 processes in the main memory what we are going to do the whole of the process is present in the secondary storage from the secondary storage we will not bring the whole of the process rather we will bring a part of it which is going to be executed right so what we will do the locality of the process that is going to be referred that only we are going to bring to the main memory so suppose out of 10 kb for a process the size is what 10 kb out of 10 kb the process spends most of the time in any of the 3 kb in any of the 3 kb process spends its time right so instead of keeping the whole of 10 kb in the main memory what we will do will bring only 3 kb here so for each process will bring instead of 10 will bring 3 kb only right 3 kb so for 10 process how much i require 30 kb right and how much uh, system related data will require 5 kb so total how much i have consumed plus 5 na so that means we have consumed 35 kb out of my 40 kb main memory and we have accommodated 10 number of processes right by uh, doing this locality concept we have brought only 3 kb and 5 kb for uh, the system related data now see uh, if i look from outside in my pro in my memory how many processes are there 10 processes are there and what is the size of each process 10 kb right and system related data requires what 5 kb so see what i will feel from outside what i will feel that it is accommodating 10 number of processes that means 100 kb it will require to store the processes and 5 kb for system related data that means i will feel that the size of my main memory is 105 kb right 105 kb why because size of each process is what 10 kb how many processes are there 10 so i will feel that 10 kb whole of it is there in main memory that means my main memory size is 105 kb whereas my main memory size is what 40 kb so see though the size is 40 kb but i will feel that the size of my main memory is what 105 kb so that feeling which is actually not the case is nothing but the concept of virtual memory is the concept of virtual memory so by using the concept of virtual memory we are going to have a large size memory 
and by using the concept of cache memory we are going to have a faster memory see in both the techno in both the methods we have utilized one property of programs that is my program spends some time in some localized area so that localized area only we use to keep in the memory right so these are two very beautiful concepts right so several techniques are there to increase the effective size and speed of the memory if i am talking about speed then i am going to use cache memory so cache memory is designed using different technology from that of your main memory due to which it is faster but it is costlier so we can afford a smaller size cache memory so in a smaller size we can put only a subset of the things present in the main memory right if we guess correctly what to put in the cache memory all the time we will get our instruction and data in the cache only so we will feel that we are connected to a faster memory second point virtual memory see though the size of my main memory was what 40 kb but i, I had a feeling that my main memory capacity is 105 kb due to uh, and by using this concept we, we are increasing the size actually we are increasing the effective size so this much is there in this video after this we will be discussing the how one memory uh, that um, means how we are going to store in uh, information in one memory location what are the building blocks are there those things we are going to discuss in our next video till then thank you